do we start today? I, I, can I start with an analogy, if I may? It made me think of a video game. I read Matthew Paris's column on Saturday in The Times. Matthew Paris, of course, a former Conservative Party uh, uh, MP, a former Conservative MP, no less, and, and widely regarded as one of the most respected right-wing journalists in the country. For, for the benefit of younger listeners, if you admire a single column by somebody, it doesn't mean that you are endorsing every single thing they've ever said or written, where we seem to be inhabiting a universe in which nobody is allowed to be nuanced or uh, or wrong about some things, but right about other things. It's, it's I suppose, an ele- element of our binary um, zeitgeist. But he briefly contemplated why Johnson does it. As with Brexit now, I find the Johnson regime more interesting for the psychology that it highlights than the actual politics. The politics of it have been flushed down the toilet, really from the moment you were told to believe in something impossible as, a, as evidence of your ideological purity and your commitment to the cause. It's why flags and national anthems and bogus claims of patriotism have become so commonplace in the country and people end up getting their knickers in a twist about the dismantling of a, of a statue of a, of a mass murderer. I mean, it's nuts, right? Wherever you sit, uh, all, all roads lead to this ludicrous so-called culture war. But with Johnson, the psychology of it now is fascinating. And what Matthew Paris uh, suggested, posited, was the idea that he gets his kicks out of collecting people. The, The thesis of the column was that every single thing, every single person he touches is corrupted, like a vampire. He talked about the tooth marks on the necks of everybody from Dominic Cummings to to Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe. Every single thing, every single human being he comes into contact with, whether he marries them, impregnates them, promotes them, or uh, uh, promises to protect them, they all end up corrupted by him. They all end up worse off than they were before, whether they're left holding the baby or whether they're left in a, a, a Iranian isolation, or whether they're left licking their wounds um, in Dominic Cummings' case in, 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 a, in a London townhouse, or whether they're left, uh, wherever it may be, just staring themselves in the mirror and wondering how it came to this, in the case of somebody perhaps like Kwasi Kwarteng or, or Matt Hancock or whatever poor soul gets sent out today to defend the indefensible. Whatever he touches, whatever the opposite of a Midas touches, whatever he touches, turns to soil and Paris made the point that he seems to relish the collection of people whether he gets you to surrender your body to surrender your vote or to surrender your dignity the analogy Matthew Paris used was it's like getting a sparrow to eat out of your hand you've got no interest whatsoever in the welfare of the sparrow and you don't even care what you're feeding the sparrow it's that successful act of getting a sparrow to eat out of your hand. And and it made me think, would you believe, of a video game I used to play where you collected the souls of your victims. The soul emerged from your victim in in a kind of cloud, a miasma, a spiritual miasma, and you pressed... X and and sort of inhaled the soul and for every soul you inhaled you grew in strength and I wonder whether Johnson on some level is aware of his own I don't know what words to use anymore because so, so, so I think I've, I've overused some of the more extreme adjectives that you might apply to him or more of the some of the more extreme words I mean do you remember when I used to run through the litany of everyone he lied to everyone he'd betrayed everyone he'd uh, let down or or, 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 or or disowned almost. And it was incredible, starting with his school teachers and ending with you, his, his voters, and in between taking in wives, employers, party leaders, mistresses. I, I mean, it is incredible, but it didn't land, did it? It didn't really uh, halt his rise. But the, the, the notion of why other people let him get away with it is what interests me most today.